Jane Wright here, and the topic is infection. Infection is well, very prevalent in our world whenever we get run down, and um, nod here to uh, Gaston Naisson for his research with infection, as well as uh, <clears throat> Rudolf Steiner, his understanding of infection has influence, and so I'm giving them a credit. Uh, this first treatment uh, for infection is for the tendency to infection, not any specific infection. And, you know, people are, are susceptible to infection if they have any blood sugar issues, that, that sugar acts as a proliferant when it's in the wrong proportion and stimulates infection. Uh, you know, people who are you know, eating a lot of chemically laden substances are m much more susceptible to infection. People who watch television a lot are, are pretty susceptible to kind of infection. So this, this treatment works against it. You have to have um, probably easily, more easily to do a, a broomstick or some kind of device that's roughly two, two and a half feet long. Because the, the therapeutic centers you're accessing with this are, are on either side of the body. If you have your arms in at your side and your hands uh, come up to just below 90 degrees, if you, if you close your fingers, you're grasping something tangible here. This, uh, they're two separate things. This has to do with anaerobic infection, this right-hand side. And the left-hand side has to do with aerobic infection. That's more for the future, but in, I thought I'd throw that in here. So you, if you have that tendency to run into infection all the time, doing this uh, treatment would help you step aside from that to some extent. So in this case, you have your elbows in at your side, just below 90 degrees, and you, you're going to grasp this bar that you're holding here uh, Mine's a vacuum cleaner attachment. <laughs> and so uh, you're going to bring this bar up over the head and then turn this, uh, the right side and bring it down to the waistline and then turn the other side down to back where you came from. Seems like a very simple thing, but it is, uh, it is therapeutic. So if I were really having a, a strong tendency to getting sick, I might do five repetitions of this before I got going in the morning. This, um, people will recognize it's a part of a training that Steiner gave in Eurythmy. There's elements of that that are very similar to this. So that you know, that works against the tendency to be infected. So this is another infection uh, self-treatment that can be done. Oftentimes you start to come down with something when you're not near any of the products that you might take normally when you're coming down with something. So this you always have with you, with your arms. Um, you're going to utilize the, the same two bars that you access by having your elbows in at your side and your hands facing up and just below 90 degrees. You run into a kind of density there, which is about the width of a toilet paper dowel. So you grasp it. And um, this right hand side is for anaerobic infection. That's infection that can exist without oxygen. It's the most common infection that people might have inside their body. Uh, and this over here on the left is for aerobic infection. So something in the throat, something in the lungs, something on the surface of the body, they, they all require air, the aerobic infection. And so like, let's just say you started out um, with a sore throat uh, one afternoon and you're out away from everything that might help you with that and don't want to let it get going. 
So you're going to use the left hand um, center because it's aerobic. You can use both if you have a doubt. Um, and you're going to, the simplest thing to do is to just cover the site where there is an infection trying to get going. And then you're going to grasp this, this bar here on the left-hand side and turn over to the count of 12, hold for six, and back for eight. Now, of course, that's six, three, and four, because the ratio is the same. And so you're just working with uh, doing a number of repetitions as fast as you can, or slow as you can, depending on how. I usually like to say a rhythm, a rhyme, that I, I don't like to count with the numbers. But like, for instance, I used this when I was exposed to a very bad infection called viral encephalitis one day within you know, a very short time of having been exposed, I was vomiting every few minutes and it, it, a headache so powerful, it was like getting hit over the head with a shovel. And in those days, all I had to work against the infection, other than herbs and homeopathy, was this. And I couldn't keep anything down, so the herbs and the homeopathy pretty much were not going to be a viable treatment. So I, I did this. And within about an hour and a half, I had this viral encephalitis under control. I mean, it ran through my body like a steam train. But within an hour and a half, I was not vomiting anymore. And my head stopped hurting. Uh, and so you just do repetition after repetition. Uh, you, wherever you place this hand, is where the infection is. If you know any of the treatment centers, like for instance, uh, here is the treatment center. Uh, wait, sorry. Here is the treatment center for the liver. If I had an infection in the liver, I might get a little bit more mileage by holding this therapeutic center while I'm doing it, if that's the place where I wanted to do the research. This uh, particularly also is very helpful for as a physical therapist, I see a lot of people who think they have some kind of joint problem when in fact they have an infection problem in a joint. And oftentimes that leads to um, you know, joint replacements because the infection penetrates in there so strongly, it decays the structure of the, of the bony joint. And so you know, if I had a hip um, problem I, I could, you know, probably it would be anaerobic because it would be not in the, in the, uh, it, anaerobic infection doesn't require, uh, you know, it, it is not on the surface of the body. It doesn't require oxygen. Uh, another thing that I usually have people do is to go to the deepest level of infection. And right at the hairline here, there's a center on the right for, anaerobic infection and on the left for aerobic. So let's say I wanted to get to the deepest level of infection in my arm here. When I first placed my arm, my hand on my uh, shoulder where the infection is, and if, if this in, was a joint problem, it would be anaerobic. So I'd come over to the anaerobic reflex here on my, on my hairline. It's the size of the eye right on straddling the, the hairline. So I'd get down to the deepest level of infection, and then I, I would um, come back and over to the count of 12, hold for six and back for eight. So it's probably better, would have been better to use this hand. So I'd go to the deepest level of infection and then come down here, over to the count of 12, hold for six and back for eight. It's very helpful for, you know, the, the flu often starts with a sore throat, so you have some time to just really uh, press it before it is systemic. And so, yeah, that, in, that is a very, very helpful um, infection exercise. If you, if you have biodesis or dysbiosis in the large bowel, 
and there's something that's predominating, maybe even causing an infectious tract, which is sort of like a, a wormhole or a, a cooked macaroni noodle scaffolding that infection is hiding out in, then, then getting down to the deepest level of infection in, in the place where you put your hand is very, very uh, expedient. You know, you can work right where the problem is. Uh, so you know, it's always that same ratio over to the count of 12, hold for six and back for eight. And as I said before, you can if you don't know whether it's in, uh, aerobic or aerobic or anaerobic, you can do both together. And you can cover the area with your foot or imagine covering it with another uh, hand that you don't have. But in any case, the number of repetitions is significant. You know, like if there's a big infection there, you might have to do, you know, 50, 75 repetitions. But if it's just getting started, you can kind of, like if you're just getting a sore throat, you can kind of tell by the symptom of it, if it's starting, if it's dissipating, then you can back off and then see, see if you have to take it up again. So it gives people something to do rather than take antibiotics and um, other chemicals um, to work against infection.